South Florida gets a lot of rain, a whole lot of rain, but a lot of it happens in the wet season and very little of it happens in the dry season. And so the, the simple way of looking at our operations, right, in the wet season, our job is to manage all that excess runoff, uh, put it in storage, send it to tide, uh, we're operating to move water. But in the dry season, our job is to hold on to as much water as we can. So if I were going to describe our operations in simple terms, I would say we manage the system Uh, a levee or dam, as the case may be based on its size, essentially the feature we have in place to hold water in one area or retain it where we'd like to retain it. The canals are the fast tracks to move water from one place to the other to convey it uh, for different purposes. It could be for restoration, for water supply, or to discharge it to tide as part of flood control. Uh, the gravity structures are the structures that we have. Uh, most of our structures are, we do have some pumps but most of them are gravity structures and the interesting ones especially are the coastal gravity structures which serve multiple purposes. Typically, what you're looking at is a system uh, that is driven by gravity. There's an inland part that we call the headwater part. Uh, there's a coastal part that's called the tailwater. That's the ocean in Southeast Florida. The gravity structure in the middle and it has a gate that you can open or close to affect your, your operation. As simply as I can put it, we keep it closed to keep water inland and prevent saltwater intrusion. But when it rains and the water level rises, that we call the gate open elevation. If it goes any higher, you have a risk of flooding. So we open the gate to send that storm water out to tide. Eventually, it will drop to a particular level where we feel it's time to close the gate again to avoid water level that's too low to induce saltwater intrusion. Uh, the challenge we're having and that we're really having to deal with uh, now is that with sea level rise and the king tides that we're getting that are higher and higher, there are times when the water will be higher on the ocean side than our gate close or gate open elevation. So it rains and there's a risk of flooding, but we can't open the, the gate because if we did, the sea level side, the sea, uh, the Atlantic Ocean side is higher and you would have water flow inland instead of flowing out, outwards. So we're doing a number of projects, the flood protection level of a service program uh, with our district, uh, a study that we're doing with the Corps of Engineers to look at the entire CNSF system and see how we can make it resilient 